Earlier on in our film noir season, we showed you Double Indemnity, which is directed by one of the leading exponents of film noir, Billy Wilder. Well, Wilder is also behind tonight's classic, Sunset Boulevard. Now, recently, movies like The Player and Swimming with Sharks satirise Hollywood, but no other film comes near this as an uncompromising portrait of the film community. It looks at vanity, madness, murder, and an obsession with Hollywood's past. The movie has a great, memorable, and fascinating opening. One of the lead characters is dead, and he then relates the story so the whole movie is told in flashback. The film begins with a bullet-ridden William Holden lying dead face down in a swimming pool. The dead man then begins to tell the events which led to his death. Holden's character is down on his luck and desperate for a job. He accidentally meets an ageing silent film star called Norma Desmond, played brilliantly by Gloria Swanson. She offers him work on her intended comeback. He accepts, but gradually becomes smothered by her. She treats him like a toy boy, buying him presents and giving him pocket money. And when he tries to break away from her, she attempts suicide. He then feels guilty and he goes back to her, falling into her clutches even more. The film is full of satire and melodrama. It is basically Wilder's critique of showbiz nostalgia. He examines the whole myth of how Hollywood is basically a profit-driven industry which tries to define itself as a dream machine of glamour. The best thing about Sunset Boulevard is Gloria Swanson, who almost plays herself. She was a silent film star whose career had faltered with the arrival of sound. In fact, before Sunset Boulevard, her last film had been almost ten years previously. Swanson is Norma Desmond, and it's a character the actress could relate to perfectly. She was adored by fans, and then her career disappeared. Swanson really allowed Wilder to exploit her image, even letting him use footage of her from her earlier career. It's hard to imagine anyone who could have played the part as well, but Swanson wasn't the first choice for the role. Originally, it was offered to Mae West, and then to Mary Pickford, but they both turned it down. Likewise, Montgomery Clift had already signed to play the William Holden part, but he pulled out two weeks before filming started. Then it was offered to Fred McMurray, who had already collaborated with Wilder on Double Indemnity, but he also turned it down. William Holden didn't want the part either, but he was a contract player at Paramount, and he was forced to play it. There are lots of movie in-jokes and references in Sunset Boulevard. There are appearances from Buster Keating, Cecil B. DeMille and Hedda Hopper, and an excellent performance from director Eric von Stronheim. He plays Swanson's former director, now her butler and fan, and in fact, excerpts from Queen Kelly are shown as an example of their character's previous work. But in fact, in reality, that movie was really directed by von Stronheim and starred Swanson. Hollywood didn't like the movie, and Louis B. Mayer wrote to Wilder after seeing it, saying he had disgraced Hollywood and should be run out of town. The movie was co-scripted and produced by Wilder's longtime collaborator, Charles Brackett. They had a long association, which included Ball of Fire and The Lost Weekend, but because Brackett had seen Sunset Boulevard as a comedy and not the darker movie it became, they fell out, and it was the last movie they ever made together. Sunset Boulevard is not only a great film noir, but it's also one of the greatest films ever made, and it's largely due to Swanson. She's terrifying, pitiful, scary, and brilliant all in one. It was the comeback performance of a lifetime, and she gets to deliver some classic movie lines, the most memorable of which is when she is told she was once big, she replies, I am big. It's the pictures that got smaller. Sunset Boulevard has fascinated audiences even to this day. It was so popular, it has even been made into a successful Broadway musical. But tonight's movie is where the whole phenomenon started. Don't miss it. We're coming to the end of our film noir season, only one more to go, so we'll be wrapping it all up next week with a modern day noir, that's John Dahl's The Last Seduction. <laughs>